Greetings friends, welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to create a web component using Svelte.js. Now this is another framework that compiles away at runtime, so should hopefully have a very small bundle size, very similar to Stencil.js. I did a video on that the other day, if you're interested in that you can see that one, I'll put a link there. But for now let's jump in and we're just going to create the, um, the standard web component and then try and use it and just see how easy that is. Now there's no npm install for Svelte. If I if we go to the um, Svelte website, uh, svelte.dev, um, and then you can look here for the, the quick start basically, and it uses uh, Digit. So it's going to scaffold a project for us, and and that's what we're going to use. Now that one was project, but we want a web component, so there's a particular scaffold for that, uh, but it's still mpx digit uh, and then svelte js and we want component template and we're going to put it into something a project called um, test Okay, so let's have a look. If we go into test and then have a look at what that's created for us. What have we got? We've got um, Rollup config. So this will be built with Rollup. Rollup's great for building libraries, that's for sure. Um, so some configuration in there. We've got a package.json. Now I'm just going to change the name. So our web component is going to be called my component. Apart from that, I'm just going to leave that as it is. There's a script here we can run uh, to build uh, with with Rollup, and then we've got a source folder and an index.spell. So this is where our component will live. Now, Spell has its own way of setting things up. Now, to create the property on our component, I'm just going to create basically a component with some text, and it's going to display a property that we'll set. So we just need to say uh, export let and we'll have a name property and we'll just say it's um, set to default to start with and then we can specify the UI so we'll say hi my name is and then we can interpolate that property with curly braces so if I save that off right there's a couple of things we need to do to tell Svelte that this needs to be a web component. At the moment, it would just be a Svelte component, so it wouldn't adhere to the, the, the standards that a web component need. First thing, in our config, in our plugin, we need to specify custom element and just set that to true. That's fine in there. And then back in here, we also need to say we need to set the Svelte options that should allow us to set a tag, which is the name of our web component. So we're calling that my component. So this is what will get used in the call to custom element. This will generate a call to custom elements.define and it will use that name there as the tag. So obviously it needs a hyphen in there. All custom elements need a hyphen. And that should be it. So so an npm install, we have got we have got some packages here, we've certainly got roll up, so we need to get that in place. And then I should be able to run that script, that build script from our package.json, which calls roll up, and that will create for us two files, an index.mjs and an index.js, and there they are. So this is our ES5 code, and this is our ES2015. We'll use the, the 2015 in this case. So, uh, what's a good way to test this? We could test it. We can actually just test this in place. You know, we could put it onto npm, uh, but why not just use it here? It will be just as valid, I think. So, if I just create uh, an index.html and give that some boilerplate code here. 
then if I just pull in that script, that explicit script, the index.mjs and its type module in this case, then I should be able to just say my component in here. And so we, we've got a property name, so we can set the attribute here um, on the component itself. And if I just bring that up now, we should hopefully see. Hello, my name is a shot of code. And if we look in developer tools at elements, you can see the component here. And you can see it's got its shadow root. And our property is being set. Looks like a pretty, pretty good web component there. What about the size of it? Let's have a quick look. Uh, at the moment, the index.js is 8K, so that's not gzipped and not minified. So let's let's put those in to get a, an even better feel of of what size that would be. Uh, so if I go over to roll up, I can import uh, terser, which will do our minification, and that is going to be from roll up plugin terser. And we would simply call that in the plugin section, Tursa, like so. And we just need to install that down here. Okay, so with that there, if I save off, roll up there. Now, if we run build again, so what was it? It was 8K originally. And if I come back in, and it was already uploaded, so it's now 3.3K. So you get a feeling of how small it can get. Now, if we actually gzip that as well, so if we gzip um, index.mjs, I thought I had gzip on here. Ah, I haven't got gzip. Okay, uh, gzip would bring that down to another about a k, I think, about one k if that actually if that installed. So yeah, very very small, similar to a stencil. You know, again, compared to lit element, I think is about a third of the size, or maybe less. Um, certainly, certainly very very good. Uh, and creating it, yeah, it was incredibly easy. We just you know we just use that digit and into your index spelt, and then you can create your component there. Uh, so there you go. Just an overview of um, creating a web component in Svelte.js. Looks pretty promising. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, click that subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.